I'm here. The Elidians are preparing to attack Hatari. Status report. Oh. Systems are now fully powered. All torpedo tubes open. They're preparing to fire. Oh, we crap. hail the Elidian flagship, Captain. Readying phasers if you want them. Stand by. Await my order. Recommendation, Commander. Ah. Uh, we need to act quickly. Hail them. Hail the Elidians. Maybe we could talk some sense into them. Yeah. Hail them. No response. Try it again. Still nothing. Crap. The Elidians. They've powered down their weapons. Really? Ah. Uh, you sure about that, Mr. Amon? They're venting some kind of gas from their ship. Hold on. Now all of their systems have shut down. That's unexpected. Yes, it is. Uh. Scan them again. I don't trust it. Commander Irma, scan them again. We have to be sure. No mistaking it. They're dead in the water. Really? What's happening? There's an energy dampening field coming from Tau. Take us out of range. Hi, Captain. Oh, that's what's happening. The cotton, Captain, the dampening field. The flagship is hailing us. On screen. Zelvi to the Starship Resolute. Our main power cores are completely disabled. The more power we give, the more it takes. Running off batteries. Life support systems have failed. Unable <coughs> to ventilate contaminated atmosphere. Okay. Admiral, you are about to launch an attack on a defenseless planet. Copliot. You supported us in the negotiations. We need your help again now. Uh, I beg of you. You must render assistance. System failures are compounding around my ship. Yeah, how can we how can we help? We'll help you. Yes, we will. Thank you. Hi, Spock. Admiral, excuse us while we devise a rescue plan. By my estimate, the crew only have 23 minutes before their atmospheric mix becomes lethal. Okay. While we may not be able to transport the Olivians directly, if we were to transport them from their ship to a nearby shuttlecraft, it should be possible to amplify the transporter signal there and reroute it to the Resolute. The Ambassador's plan is incomplete. An away team will have to beam aboard the Zeldi and set up pattern enhancers for a stable enough signal out of the dampening field. Yes. Thank you for identifying my deficiency, Commander Chovak. Jara, I need a senior officer in command of this. Take Chovak and Bedrosian in the shuttle and get it done. Okay. <clears throat> Diaz and Edsilar, you will be part of the rescue mission. Congrats. As will I. Bring the shuttle within transporter range of the Zeldi, then beam you both aboard. Beam us on board? Why? Pattern enhancers must be placed on the Zeldi to make it possible to beam the Elidians back to the Resolute. Mm -hmm. Gather the pattern enhancers and get to the docking bay. Yes, we'll take this one. Thank you. And, uh, uh, what's this? Respirator. Oh yeah, I guess that would come in handy also, wouldn't it? <clears throat> We're going on the wrong mission. Oh, what's that? We're going to rescue the Iridians, the people that oppress the Hotari, when we should be going to rescue Miranda. This thing that's happened to Miranda is like the Trill symbiosis joining, only worse. And I've seen too many people I care about wiped away by some greater entity to stand by while the same thing happens to her. I wanted no part of it then. And I won't stand for it now. Your body stole uh, like puppets. She is gonna fight us. It won't be easy. She's gonna fight us every step of the way. She's basically possessed. Remember, it's not her that's fighting us. Yeah, I know. True. But right now, we've got other lives to save. Yeah. team is ready. Mm-hmm. Shell engines. Good. They're working. And 
What's over here? Ah, the hatch. Close the hatch. Clear path of dangerous hazards. Green light will damage your sh lightning will damage shield. Taking damage three times will fail a mission. You can fly through the rings created by the storm. Okay, gotcha. Uh, uh, uh where am I going? Okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. Flying through the rings. This is great. Not good at flying these things. I don't play. Okay, fine. That's right. We're doing fine. Don't hit the green lightning. Don't hit the green lightning. Green lightning bad. Lightning bad. Okay, we're good. Doing fine. Doing fine. We're doing fine. Moving my path. You're moving my path. Wrong. Oh, lightning. Lightning green. Lightning green. You're gonna move my path, aren't you? Yes, you are. <sighs> okay, here we go. Are we done yet? It's awfully stressful. I don't think I signed up for this. Okay, oh, wait, I did, didn't I? Okay, um... Oh, no, wrong one. Aha! Oh, crap. <laughs> I thought I was out of it. Uh, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. We are within range. Any closer, we'll put the shuttlecraft at risk. Okay. Yeah, I was worried about that. Because when the shuttle energy be drained, too? You, you three have fun. The away team. Energizing. <laughs> oh, he fell. Oh, they're down. Okay, we should probably. The ship's life support. It, it's almost completely drained. Yeah, I noticed that. And the other systems, too. Oh, no. We gotta get to their transporter room. Yes. Okay. Where is their transporter room, by the way? Oop, bodies. Lots of bodies. Uh, put it away. Okay. Mm. These must close in case of emergency. They don't have enough power left to function. Carter, give them a charge with your phaser. Should oh. make them open. Really? Okay. Sounds good to me. Mmm. That. Uh. Yay. Got it. Um, is there another one? You're right there. Okay. Uh. There we go. Crawl through this. Um, where is the other one to hit? Oh, right there. Phaser. Thank you. Aiming. Got it. Full start. Uh, this way. Okay. Crawl. I feel like this is taking a while. Uh, um, hmm. Phaser. Where am I? Shooting. Uh, nope. That wasn't it. Um, oh, right there. Okay. Shoot that. Nope. <laughs> I like shooting things. What? Uh... It's not Crap. Working. No power's running through any of this. We gotta get him open Stop. manually. I am the ranking officer here. State your intentions. We are uh, under siege. Yeah, we're, we're rescuing you. What does it look like? We're here to rescue you. And yet. Cannot even open a door. Yeah, we're we're not good. Whoa there. I am still able to stand. What are you trying to do? We gotta get into your transporter room. 
Then we can get your people off the ship. Oh, that works. This looks cool. Aha! It is transporter. iPads. Make sure they're evenly spaced. Evenly spaced. We need to manually adjust beam trajectory so they connect. Oh, I God. got this one. You get the others. Okay. Grab that one. Let's put it over here. Okay. Let's go over here. Let's put one right there. I'm gonna have to adjust the beams or something, right? Okay. Now, got three of them. Okay. Oh, one more here. Oh, oh, and one here. I remember only using like three. Seems like a lot. Okay. Gotta line each one. Boom. Okay. How do I? Oh, like this. There we go. Okay. Oop. Okay. Uh, oop, this way. There we go. Okay. This one. Why do I have so many to do? There we go. This looks... Nope. Not quite. Not quite. One more. Mm. Perfect. Alright. The pattern enhancers are aligned and ready to go. Let's round them up. These will boost the signal so we can transport through the storm. We have a shuttle outside this ship that will route the signal to the Resolute. All crew to transporter room two. We are evacuating. You want to grab a couple? That'd be great. We're alive. Here they come. <laughs> a little faster, everyone. Come on. Good spot. Okay, coordinates. Beam status. Energizing controls. Please step on the platform so we can evacuate you. The crew goes first, Harminter. Sir. I mean this. You! Get on the platform already! Okay, the interface is in Elidian, but the layout is the same as the Starfleet transporter. Is it? I just gotta do what I did before. Select the people to transport. Okay. And... ...through the ionic interference. Oh, God. Um... Uh, which one's off? This one? If the path goes through too much interference, it won't work. Thank you for pointing that out. Okay. There we go. Just have to calibrate the signal gain to get the highest possible output. <sighs> Are you kidding me? Uh, 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 uh. Oh, 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 right about, oh, no, mm, no, here. Okay. Good enough. Even at this range, the interference is too much. What? The system is suggesting better transport coordinates. See, it's the shuttle. You're sitting right in the thick of it. I'm sending you specific coordinates for a clear signal path. Okay. 
Waypoint's been added to the navigational computer. Oh, God, no. There, Commander. Give or take 50 meters. Uh, okay. Let's go. We're going. At least six kilometers. Ah, uh, of course not. Of course there's these eggs. Um, uh, up or down? We're going up. Okay. Are you kidding me? Okay, we're going. Oh, God. Going through right here. Oh, hi. Uh, move out of my way. Oh, no. Up, down, up, down, up, down, left, right. Oh, God. Okay, up and over. Up and over. Don't you spark. Don't you start sparking. <gasps> You're sparking. No. Oh, start sparking. Cheater. Okay, we're going this way. Uh, okay, no last minute sparks. There you go. There you go. 2.4 kilometers. This is just, this is just, this is just plain cheating. Ah. They shouldn't be moving like this. They're, just, they're doing this on purpose at this point. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay, right through there. Oh, 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 no. Right through here. <laughs> Melville to away team. Energize. Okay, energize. Does it work? The first group of Elidians in the pattern buffer. Redirecting and transmitting to the Resolute now. It works. They're not puddles. We have the Excellent. <laughs> we did it. I was so worried this wouldn't work. Good work. Keep it up. Yes, keep it up. Yes, Commander. This is Commander Rydek. We're holding steady. Signal is good. Keep them coming. Thank you. For all your brave work. You're very welcome, man. Does Starfleet let you wear another fleet's medal? We will find out. <laughs> we'll find out. We're ready for transport. Get the Admiral to safety. Energize. It's not good. Better position with the resolute. Oh, are you kidding me? Okay, we're going. Oh no. I'm down. Don't you screw me. Okay. Oop. Down, 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 down. Oh god. I thought I did. Going through. Oh, oh. Oh, uh oh, oh. Seriously. Stupid lightning, stupid lightning, stupid lightning. Okay. Low down. Oh, around the asteroid. Through here. We're almost there. Oh. No, we're not. We're screwing up a lot. Okay.
Here we go. Oh! Come on, we're going through. We're going through. We're going through. I am ah! Made it. Power, but internal relays are not functioning. I'll do it manually. Okay. I am trying. I will lose the transport if I do not have more time. The signal is resolving. Ah! Ow, that looks like it hurts. Uh, complete the transport! Finish the transport! Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it! Transport complete. Save her, save her, save her! Okay, she's still alive. That's good. Lieutenant Bedrosian has been injured, but the last transport was successful. Oh, thanks, B. Unfortunately, our shuttle systems were damaged by the power surge. We can no longer serve as the transporter node. Carter, these readings are off the charts. The source of the storm is on this ship. That must have been the power surge when it came on board. You're right. That's a con energy source. They call it the Cartabula. It's here. Really? Is that? The intruders are preparing to bring the Zeldi to war. And we're about to be stuck on it. There is an old Lydian saying about leaping off the hot skillet and falling to the flame below. Yeah, we got that one too. Yeah. We fight back. We don't know where this ship is going. But we are not lost. We can still do something. We can still fight. We'll stop them from getting the Cartabula wherever they're taking it. I like this plan, and I shall fight with you. That's all well and good, but if we're not getting off this ship, we're really backed into a corner here. A bit. We can't get off this ship. But maybe I could target somewhere on, on the ship. ship. We are reading the warp engines powering up. Yeah, we picked up on that. Do not have a way to evacuate you from the Zeldi. The shuttlecraft is too heavily damaged. We got a plan. That's all right, Commander. We have a plan of our own. We're gonna stay on this ship. That is very bold of you. Thanks, Mr. T.S. Live long and prosper. Ah, crap! He thinks we're die. I hear voices down the corridor. Be here soon. I'll guard the door. You just get us out of here, Diaz. Hey, Stretch. Help us with this map. Find somewhere as remote as you can. They're almost here. Uh, bridge? No. Cargo bay. Three quarters. Cargo bay. There. The aft cargo bay. That is acceptable. Thank you. Sounds good to me. Whatever you're doing, do it now! Are you kidding? Okay. There. We're locked in. Order transport. Come on, Bell! Run, 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 run! Oh, crap! Bell! I had a bad feeling. It was extra. Oh. Well, that's not good. It's too late for him. Carter! Free to transport. Oh. Energize. Oh, 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 that's a twist.
calls for sacrifice. She knows it. And our people on the Zelda know it. Contact the Resolute, Mr. Chobok. Have them bring us back. And tell them we'll need medical aid for Lieutenant Petrosian. Yes, ma'am. we were able to save almost a hundred Elidians from certain death. As for Lieutenant Bedrosian, well, Val will do her best, but the prognosis isn't very encouraging. Lieutenant Bedrosian went above and beyond her duty. She did, she indeed did. She deserves did. a commendation. Yes. I'll see what I can do. Commander Rydak, I heard what you did. The sacrifice you made for our sake. You saved not only my life, but the lives of my crew. An incredibly heroic deed. All of Elidia is in your debt. We cannot thank you enough. Just doing our duty, Admiral. I'm sure you understand. If you'll excuse us. Of course. How are we getting our away team back? Ambassador Spock and the rest of the senior staff are waiting for us in the briefing room to discuss just that. I wanted a chance for you and I to speak first, given the circumstances. Circumstances? Oh. While protocol might suggest we alert Starfleet about our situation, missing crew, the data breach, possible threat from the Hatari or Khan, I think we're better off keeping this to ourselves, under our control. Huh? You know what's at stake for me here, and what is at stake for you, too. I can't afford another mission gone wrong. I'm really counting on your support. Uh, a false alarm just yet. Uh, I have every confidence we can wrap this up before it gets any worse. We might need Starfleet's help. I'm sorry, Captain, but this isn't about you. The lives of everyone who wears a uniform are at stake. The con are dangerous. I don't see it that way. We're ready in the briefing room, Captain. On our way. Is there any update on our efforts to trace the Zeldi's warp signature? Unfortunately, no. Somehow they were able to mask the signature and block our ability to track their trajectory. I'm also concerned about what went with them. A Taconian energy source. Sidron referred to it as the Cartabula. Yes, I've been analyzing your tricorder scans. This Cartabula is more powerful than any energy source on record. Mm -hmm. Disabled our ability to warp and likely created the Ion Stone. We have to find that ship. It could be anywhere by now. Uh, Literally anywhere. Starfleet can help. We should alert all stations to keep an eye out for that particular ship. You're saying we should warn the entire galaxy? I'm saying we do the math. Calculate their maximum speed against a given time interval. Yeah. That gives us an expanding radius of where they might be at different periods of time. Be helpful. We alert the stations at each radius at regular intervals. It's casting a wide net, but it's at least worth a shot. A sound approach. Thank you, Spock. The Takan also compromised our systems when Petty Officer Maris stole data from our computer core. We're assessing what was lost as we speak. It's just too soon to say exactly what they had access to. Starfleet needs to know about this. We're not contacting Starfleet <sighs> until we fully understand the situation. There are too many unknowns. They stole our data. That's reason enough to warn Starfleet. But the captain does have a point. Might be better to wait until we know more. Um, we shouldn't take any chances. Yeah. We should at least alert Starfleet that our system was compromised. I agree with Commander Rydak. We should let Starfleet decide how they want to handle it. And essentially tell them this mission was a failure before it's even over? Oh, God. No. That's not how we're going to do it. Not on my ship. I want to speak with the Hatari and get to the bottom of this before we get Starfleet involved. Fine. I expect we'll meet resistance. 
The Hotari think we violated our neutrality by entering their mines. Assuming the negotiations are off, we no longer have an official role here. We still have a responsibility to the Hotari and the Elidians. The Takana are a threat to both their civilizations. No. They're a threat to us all. Yes. The device Commander Rydek found in the Taconian Vault is an advanced delivery mechanism for a complex biogenetic transformation process. Meaning what, exactly? Not only are they bioforming innocent hosts, transforming them into Takan, they're taking the DNA and engrammatic data of a specific Taconian and displacing that of its host. It's a hostile takeover on a cellular level. Bringing individual Takan back to life, one by one. Yeah, can we reverse this? Is there some way it could be reversed? That's exactly what I've been trying to find out. So far, it appears the answer is no. Crap. Once the Taconian takes control, the displacement of the host is irreversible. And the bioforming appears to be permanent. Petty Officer Maris called herself a scion of the flame. But the computer had no information about it. She also shot the hell out of my ship as she escaped and nearly killed a few of our crew. So we know this about those Scions. They're dangerous. The Takan have crossed a line. That much is certain. However, meeting with the Hotari could offer insight into their true intentions. Under the pretense of an apology for betraying their trust. And trying uh, to their territory. Good plan. Given the options. This might be our best chance to find out more about Spock. what they have planned. I couldn't agree more. With the Cartabula gun, I can confirm we have regained warp capability and the use of our transporters. Excellent. Commander Ermot, see if we can arrange a meeting on Hotari as soon as possible. As Ambassador Spock suggested, under the pretense of an apology. Aye, Captain. Nice work, everyone. You're long overdue for a Deridian infusion. Uh, it looks like I am. I'll give you two a moment, but she needs her rest. I understand. Commander Rydek? Is that you? I thought I heard your voice. I'm right here. Where? Before you say anything, I just want you to know I don't blame you for what happened. I heard that last transport made it through. That was our mission, to save lives. So, I'm glad it was success. And Dr. Duval tells me she can get me my sight back. Eventually. I, I just hope this isn't the end of my career. You can't be much of a tactical officer if you can't see what's coming. But this is all I've ever wanted to do. The latest advancements in vision enhancement are truly remarkable. I wouldn't be surprised if you came back better than you ever were. I just want to be able to see again. That's all I'm asking. All right, you two. Lieutenant Pedrosian needs her rest, and you have an infusion waiting for you. Checking on you soon. I promise. I'm gonna hold you to it. Aside from almost running out of Deridium, you're in good health. Nice to get some positive news for a change. You, I don't worry about. Captain, however. Go on. You see it, don't you? Yep. He's desperate. Very. Withholding intel from Starfleet just to save his reputation. That's not normal behavior for a captain. Agreed. I was relieved you called him out on it. 
You've spent enough time with him now. Seen enough of how he runs this ship. If there's something wrong, as the ship's doctor, I need you to know. Don't sugarcoat it. Uh, I am worried. To be honest, I'm worried about him. It seems like the stress of this mission is getting to him. He has so much riding on its success. And I am concerned he'll do something rash to ensure it. Yes. To know we see eye to eye on this. And I want to be clear. I care about Solano. I really do. I've been his doctor for years. There are more important things at stake than offending an old friend. If it gets any worse, you know where to find me. Because she can relieve him from duty. Jara. Monitor Ooh. your Duridium levels. I'll be right back. How's your wound? Like it was never there. I feel lucky you were there with me. Without you, I'd be well. Thank you for saving my life. Even with the wonders of your technology, it wouldn't have mattered if you'd left me for dead. Hmm. I'm glad you're alive, but you shouldn't have protected me. You almost got yourself killed. But then you would have been hurt. I'm a soldier. It's my job to get hurt. I suppose. We saw the truth down in those mines. Yes, we did. Cyclone and Galvin really are. Who they've become. The lengths they're willing to go to. What they did to that Lydian. It's hard to accept. That everything I thought I knew, so much was a lie horror of that underneath our feet the entire time. It's always better to know. No matter how awful, the truth is better than living with a lie. Very true. I am coming around to that thinking as well. Commander Rydek, you're needed on the bridge at once. Oh god, what, what now? It? The Hotari have agreed to meet. Yet. We can't just wait to be rescued. We have no idea when or if the Resolute is going to catch up. Probably not. If we can get access to the Zeldi systems, we might be able to figure out what the Takan are up to. You got somewhere we could do that? Okay, follow you. What's this? Mm -hmm. Tight the Elidians are, the cargo bay is kind of a mess. It's over here. Come on, Carter. Fine. We need to stick with the tall guy. I, I was just looking around. Up there? All right. Edsilar, let's do this. The internal sensors. The what? When they scan the ship for life signs, they'll know right where we are. There okay. Must be devices that perform the scan. Right there. And there. There's several of them around the room. Got it. We'll disable them. How? They're too high to reach, even for me. Not too high for our phasers. Yeah. Oh, power, really. Let's not set off any fire alarms. Yeah. I got the ones over here. Great. Okay. Let's do this. Yeah. Uh. Got one. Got one. Another Run one. Is there one over here? Nope. Over here. Can I hit it from here? And eh. Hurry, Carter! I'm I am. I am. God, just give me one second. Got it! Left. What? Where? Oh. Oh wait, what where? What huh? Oh. Wrong button! Where is the one left? What? Oh god! Here? No. One, two, three. Aren't you supposed to shoot one? Eh, uh, eh. Uh. Excuse me, sir. Sir, you're in my way. Where is it? Oh, right there. Uh, uh. Oh, wait. One second. Uh, 
Come on. Uh, eh. Eh. Aha. Here it comes. So this shouldn't work. It works. They won't be able to. <sighs> that buys us some time. Now that the Zelda has its power again, I might be able to access some of the ship's systems from here. Quietly. I'll take care not to give away our position. Thank you. The Takan might not even know we're still on board this ship. Miranda only saw us transport away. She probably thinks we're back on the Resolute. Miranda. Don't give up on her yet, Carter. Not Miranda. For all we know, she was trapped, watching it happen. Fighting it the whole time. The person who shot at us wasn't Miranda. Wasn't Miranda. It was the second that she turned on us. Because I don't. Neither do I. I know it seems like we could never trust her again. But maybe there's a way to turn her back and Miranda could help us stop the Takan. Here, on the ship. Just because the Trill joining is permanent doesn't mean the Takan bioforming has to be. I've heard enough of your prattling on about your friend. You have to think like a soldier. She's our enemy now. She'll be dealt with like the rest of the Takan. My friend Miranda is not responsible for what she's doing. The Takan have taken control of her mind. We certainly can't kill her for it. Speak for yourself. If anyone threatens the Empire, they are the enemy. It's just one life, and it's already been lost. You don't get to talk about Miranda. Hey. You don't get to ignore We're on the same team, everyone. Come on. We don't like this any more than you do. The Takana are a threat to all of us. They turned our crewmates, too. You really think they're going to stop there? No. And yet we still risked our lives to come help you, and not everyone made it. I'll grant that you showed your grit and effectiveness. Thank you. More than I can say about accessing ship systems. They block out helm control, propulsion. They're closing down systems faster than I can check them. Crap. They're always changing these interfaces. I can hardly keep up. Let us help. Fine. Oh, God. They're using a senior officer's access code to lock down our systems from the bridge. Uh, the Takan uh, must have turned someone in command. Uh, uh, uh. Why is it so hard? <laughs> Here's something. I can see the course they have plotted in. Uh, the Lydian fleet has explored a lot of systems, but it's all in the opposite direction of where we're going. The Zeldi, that's where we are. Yeah. That's not exactly news. Mm hmm. What's this? We're headed to the edge of the galaxy. What? Nothing but uninhabited systems along the way. And if we keep going, we'll leave charted space. A lot sooner than I like to think about, too. That can't happen. We need to take control and turn this ship around. Get back to the front lines of the battle for Olivia. We are on the front lines. Pretty They're much. We're going to do this all over the quadrant. The whole Federation is at risk. That is a possibility, but it's already a reality for my people. I'm sure it's pretty damn real for the people who are trapped in their own bodies controlled by the Takan. You can't just turn your back on them. I'll take this ship without you if I have to. And I'll bring it back to Olivia, or I'll destroy it. We'll, we'll work together. Hands of the enemy. Think strategically. We stand a better chance by working together. You're right to be angry. But it doesn't do any good to turn it on us. Fair enough. The most important thing is that we get control of this ship. So that we don't end up so far away that the Resolute can't ever catch up to us. And if we control the Zeldi, that also means they can't use that cartabula thing. Great. I'm not sure we can do much more from here. What's this? It's a data stream. It looks to be a two-way communication. Let me see if I could put it through a demultiplexing processor. 
Can you get that clearer? I'm trying. Ooh, ooh, come on. Uh, almost there. We're doing it. No. No. Really? Why is this so hard? No, oh, no. Oh, so close. There we go. Okay. That should do it. Hello. Can you read me? It's Tosker. Is that you? Major. It's my lieutenant. Where are you? I'm here with some of the others. We're trapped in the ATP. Our artillery targeting platform. The bulkheads are sealed. And ruptured power conduits on the other side are discharging at high voltage. Major, we've seen Sidron and the other Atari. And if we can get free, I think we'll be able to overpower them and take back the ship. Itasca, are you still there? Itasca, are you still there? trust anyone else you meet. The Hotari have been transforming people on the ship. Ah, oh, crap. We've seen it happen. Bioforming. It's only a matter of time before any remaining crew are turned against us. You have to come and help us. I gotta ask, are you sure that's really your comrade? It's Itasca. You're going to have to trust with me. I know Lieutenant Itasca well. That's her. Better be right. Right about this. If I suspect something is amiss, I'll deal with the Tosca myself. Remind me not to get on your bad side. We'll make it to you undetected and we'll free you from the ATP. We'll be ready and waiting, sir. I may not know the computers very well, but I know every inch of this ship. I can get us there safely through the back routes. everyone you may approach thank you your majesty an apology is in order the federation spare us your apologies your excuses your pathetic explanations you said you were here under the pretense of peace yet you trespassed into our minds I should have known you were lying when you said the Hotari should have control of the mine. <laughs> Just a ruse. No, I'll take responsibility. <sighs> I take full responsibility for my actions, which were entirely my own, not the Federation's. How noble. Thank you. Your Majesty, if I may. Her actions nearly caused a war. I was addressing the Queen. Galvin speaks for the Hotari. Fortunately, we were able to resolve this ourselves, despite your interference. The Illidians have agreed the mines will remain under Hotari control. We now recognize the Hotari as the sole authority in this region. Your presence here is no longer necessary. Uh, so yeah. You can consider the matter Are they already all bioformed? That makes no sense. What did they do to you? They convinced us that this was the best deal we were going to get. I thank you for coming, but the sooner the Federation leaves, the better. The hell we will, Captain. What about it. my crew trapped aboard that ship? Or what you did to my security team? The data you stole? I want to make one thing clear. No one is to leave Hotari space without Federation approval. No one. You think you have that power? Uh, no. In fact, you have none. Yeah. You came here under the presumption you would be the ultimate authority. That you would show up and render judgment in this petty dispute over precious resources between lesser people. But instead, your arrogance and self-interest was your undoing. Yeah, a little bit, but... <clears throat> blinding you to the real power at work here. 
Something far beyond you. Yeah, might as well call him out. Might as well call him out. Enough of this nonsense. You're not fooling anyone. We know you're Takan. Yep, sorry. Takan. A word I haven't heard in a very long time. At the height of our power, the Takan Empire spanned hundreds of thousands of light years. Oh, crap. And trillions of Taconians. An empire that encompassed what is now considered Federation. Oh, that's not good. This force was once ours, so it feels only right that we reclaim what was lost. Everything you hold dear will be gone. The first of many painful losses to come. That may play well with your bioformed friends. But your empty threats don't scare us. Yeah. Okay. Just a friendly word of caution. You'll know when I'm threatening you. You might be surprised how many want to be part of the most advanced civilization the galaxy has ever seen. We will not stop until we've reclaimed what is rightfully ours. Imagine what a queen, a starship captain, or even a Federation ambassador could accomplish if their power was wielded by a truly superior entity. In the face of such impossible odds against an adversary so clearly more advanced in every way, the only logical choice is to submit. Never. What are you doing? Seize them. Ah, oh, crap. Get us out of here. Now. Phase room. Ride it to Resolute. Beam us out. <laughs> 